it makes me sometimes when I see people hustling for apples, apples that are already even pale and uh, the skin looking like nylon, all in the name of going for touched fruits. I'll be like, what is that? <laughs> we ran, God, we ran until we ran into our house. The way we even pushed our grandma's door and boah! <laughs> friends someone is sleeping at the back oh. welcome back to the afro food diary thank you so much for joining me today this video i'm about to make now is majorly inspired by a post i saw on instagram by um, uche Wezi. i saw uh, like uh, uh the post was about last christmas shopping and she showed this very huge basket of udara all oh, huge uh, um basin of udara oh my goodness and it brought back a whole lot of memories <laughs> Wow, Christmas is like, there are so many beautiful memories about Christmas that, you know, I remember and I just smile. Oh my. So I decided to just run in here and tell us a few things, a few beautiful memories about Christmas, including a horrible story around picking Odara seed, Odara fruits. By the way, Odaras are like cherished fruits in Nigeria. It makes me sometimes when I see people hustling for apples, apples that are already even pale and uh, the skin looking like nylon, all in the name of going for touched fruits. I'll be like, what is that? <laughs> you have Odara, you have Popo, you have so many natural homegrown fruits that you can enjoy. Why go for the one you pay a thousand naira for one yet it's not even fresh that is a story for another day guys but let's get into this fun video and before we run into it guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumb up subscribe if you haven't i'll be happy to have you amongst my family okay share with your friends this is christmas season is a season of love and sharing share with your friends who would love to you know be taken back to the village to the christmas childhood memories and thank you so much ahead of time let's get into the video Guys, in today's video, it's going to be something different from, <laughs> sorry if I look out, it's Sunday and we went out for a drive and I decided to give us, I decided to just talk to us about little things around Christmas, okay? The first thing I want to talk about, about Christmas are like beautiful memories I remember with Christmas. Those of us who are in Nigeria, you know that in Nigeria, is something I still cherish up until now. Is that wherever you live uh, towards Christmas you see people going to their villages you know to just go you know cousins get to meet and the uh, family gets bigger overnight at least for the next two three weeks and just a whole lot of activities hustles and buzzes around just staying in the village okay I love and I miss that scenario so I'm going to be telling us to two beautiful memories of Christmas growing up. The first one is going out to pick Odara. Oh my goodness. You know, in Nigeria, it is around this time, the Hamatan season. We call it Hamatan in Nigeria. The winter season, like somewhere between um, December and, uh, and February. It's usually a little bit uh, colder and uh, windy. And that is when Odara is all ripe. <laughs> If you remember correctly guys yeah so we go out to pick udara i remember as children i remember one time going out with my brothers i had a younger brother and an elder brother we woke we like it was kind of a competition then to go out and pick udara so then my elder brother would go pick and then when he comes back he'll be like you didn't go with me so i wouldn't give you <laughs> so one night we decided to to wake up early and go with him you know so that we'll have enough and quit begging so i and my younger brother we just i don't even we don't we didn't even check time we just felt that okay it's enough it's it's early and it's uh, like it's we just felt that it was morning and we left for the udara picking oh my goodness S guys sometimes when i think about that incident i struggle to t convince myself that it wasn't real but it was so 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 real it was scary and 
you know, there's this kind of horrible stories around Odara Peking back in the days, okay? Yeah, we'll talk about uh, seeing Odara, Odara spirits and all that. So we went, not knowing that it was far too early. It wasn't even up to 3 a.m., guys. Children, eh? Children, it's God that keep them safe. Our parents didn't know because we decided to sneak to our grandma's house then. We slept over at our grandma's house so that we can be able to you know, sneak out before our daddy, <laughs> before our dad catches us, kind of, you know. So we just left. Nobody knew. We left and went for the Udara picking and the... Why were they? You know, it was all dark. Back in this is this is somewhere before two thousand, so you can imagine how villages were then. It was thick, thick bushes all around until you get to the Odara tree. God, thinking about it now, I just get goosebumps. So why were picking the Odara? It just felt like something didn't feel right. But at a point, we felt like someone was approaching us dressed in white. <laughs> it may sound weird for a lot of us, but I don't know. I wish I could even call one of my brothers now to like you know to talk, so that we can discuss this here. There's this thing Igbo people say that um I go for near for an hour AK. That's like something one person sees can easily be exaggerated, right? But this one is like the three of us. It felt like there was this figure in white approaching us, so we decided my brother now like say let's go, let's go, let's go. And we started to, you know, run and uh, run run as fast as our legs could carry us. We ran, God, we ran until we ran into our house. The way we even pushed our grandma's door and <laughs> ran in. And the woman woke up and said, what is it, what is it, what is it? You know? And uh, when we finished telling her what happened, she was like, what's the time? We now checked the time. My goodness. It wasn't even up to 3 a.m. It wasn't up to 3 a.m. That was horrible, but that is that is one thing. That, like whenever I remember Odara Peking in the villages, I remember that incident. But Odara Peking was a very very fun activity we do during the Xmas season. I you know it's one that I cherish. We go, we pick Odara, pick them fresh and ripe. You know we had the different places. We go not just one tree, and we knew children. We knew like the trees that give the sweetest Odara, so we we'll always go for those ones first. Oh my, I miss those times. Another beautiful memory about Christmas time in the villages in Nigeria is going out with your cousins, like going out to watch football match, you know, all these activities. I don't remember ever having a masquerade festival in my village, but it was is like some of the activities you see in other villages right in our own village it was like a football match like a competition amongst the four villages or so so like they play all through the christmas season and it was such a fun to go watch just dress in your christmas wears and uh, go watch football and uh, meet people you know it was i miss those days it was so peaceful and uh, oh my I miss those days so that brings me to one thing I would like to tell our African mothers <laughs> like our Nigerian moms back in the day when it gets close to going to pick the or not when it gets close to um, going to watch the, the football match now that is when like maybe our mom will be like ah, go and uh, pound this for me or oh. Can we not go yet? <laughs> you know, they will just send you on an errand, which is very, very, very annoying. So, Nigerian moms, if you are a Nigerian mom, you're watching me today, please, there is one thing we should not be doing on the Christmas days. One thing you shouldn't do this Christmas, please, <laughs> is leave your um, um, apple, you know, leave the apple pounding until close to when the children should go and there. Uh, and and go for go for their uh their strolling and uh, just outing and all that and you say come and pound apple for you <laughs> please whatever you need for your christmas get it ready before that day i beg make your apple apple is luckily something you can uh, prepare before the christmas day and they uh, save just warm and eat you can also cut your if you have functioning refrigerator, for instance, 
there are so many food items you can prep ahead of time and they just keep okay <laughs> yeah please prep as much as you can before the christmas day it's also good for you our mothers to rest you know rest and uh, without spending the whole day in the kitchen honestly even for me right now i don't plan to spend the whole day in the kitchen on christmas day um prepping the things I need ahead of time, small, 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 cut my vegetables or even buy the packed ones if uh, I want. You can, once you have a functioning uh, fridge and a freezer, if that is available to you, life can get easier in that you can prep your meals. Like if you know you are going to make stew, for instance, you steam dry your tomatoes and they keep. If you know you're going to make fried rice, for instance, you pre-cut your vegetables and they put in Ziploc bags and they freeze them down. That is achievable. If you know, for instance, you're going, what else? If you're going to cook okra soup, for instance, you either cook it ahead of time or you cut your okra and freeze. There's a lot you can do. Make make your bake or you can bake, cook your moi moi, guys. Yeah, plus apart from letting our children enjoy the christmas day by not sending them on so much errands we can also ourselves relax and uh, enjoy the day okay it's a holiday we should take time and rest so those are the few things i remember about christmas that i said to come in here and uh, tell us thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was interesting i hope it was uh, fun to listen to my little bits of details about christmas thank you so much for being here i appreciate you and i really really pray that god will keep you and keep us all through this season and into the coming year have a beautiful day bye Welcome to the Afro Food Diary. Thank you so much. If it's your very first time here, you're welcome. All my new subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And my returning subscribers, oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. It's been a long whole year with you, and every single day, you are one of the reasons I smile. Thank you so much. If you are here, you watch my videos, and you've been here. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much.